All right, here's the problem with Democrats. All right, this is my 90 IQ take that's actually 300 IQ. They have a bunch of nerds who look at polling and are like, oh, what do the polls say about the important issues for voters right now? We need to hit on those talking points. Do you think Trump does any of that? No, he's a vibes master. He just picks something like the border or inflation and he'll be like, yeah, I'll just harp on this over and over and over again. I'll just beat it down so much that it penetrates the skull of every 60 IQ person out there. I'm just going to make it the biggest deal possible. You have people like Hutch, and look, I love Hutch. I've watched him for 15 years, right? I saw him saying like, oh, Kamala ran a perfect campaign. And look, I'm sorry, she did not. Something was missing. Maybe it's just that she didn't have enough time. You know, everything happened not that long ago. But... I keep going back to, man, I just think vibes matter way too much. And you know what I'm convinced is the biggest vibe killer of all? Being a woman. Even other women don't like women, okay? I'm not saying this is good. I'm saying I think this is how the world is. You have high-pitched voices. You seem shrill and annoying. Anytime you try earnestly at anything, you seem like an absolute tryhard, which is cringe. You're just not as naturally funny to most people for whatever reason. You're not allowed to be too pretty or too ugly because that will disqualify you somehow. And yeah, listen, I do think Biden would have had a better chance. Listen, if he was healthy in the head, he would have steamrolled, I think. Maybe I'm coping, but I think that's true. But even with his mentally deranged cook state, I think he had a slightly better chance. Okay, not enough people are considering the vibes. He hits that, like, centristy, normal dude, but also progressive enough kind of vibe. Vice President Joe Biden has been visiting community colleges across the country as part of his Biden time talking about teaching tour. Hmm, folksy yet progressive. He does walk that line. And he just seems cooler. Like, he wore his aviators, he sucked on ice cream, he would just brush aside all the senility claims and just keep trucking on. And you know what, he, he took a lot of crap. Everyone attacked him like crazy. But I think deep down, a lot of people also had a soft spot for him. He gave that feeling of like a cool granddad. Base grandpa vibes, you know? Kamala, on the other hand, she seems, she seems like a wine aunt, a wine mom. I don't know. I'm not blaming her per se. Like, I think she did pretty well in debates. She seems like a decently cool person to me. But there is a little bit of a Pokemane element to her where she just seems like really fake to people like HR driven or something like and I think there is something about women that just does that I think Hillary had similar problems too a and call me crazy I think Biden is more black than Kamala too not literally of course but just how he is he said if you don't vote for me you ain't black bro that is the blackest thing any old white guy could have possibly said listen maybe I'm, I'm an idiot maybe I'm looking at this too much with like eight brain stuff I'm sure more informed people will have way different takes and realistically there'll be a billion factors probably contributing to this but this is just like my initial gut reaction right you know, people will blame trump cultists and stuff but i don't know how much that actually matters because i genuinely don't think he's a very strong candidate uh, someone like an obama on the other side would have wiped the floor with him it's the social media age you need big energy you need someone that is charismatic you need someone that like captures people like that you know or even think about like the most successful new streamers like these guys aren't the most talented or the even the funniest necessarily what they are is loud and persistent like being smart and being correct and having good moral positions or whatever that's all an advantage too but 90 percent of it is vibes and just how you capture people how you resonate with them the aura you give off and most importantly that you do capture them that that, that you just garner enough attention everything else you just need to be good enough and yeah i don't think Kamala had that presence to that level, you know? It just it wasn't interesting enough. It didn't capture men enough, I think, as well. And um, yeah, look, your your country is cooked, guys. Actually, everyone might be. A lot of countries will be like, who knows, Ukraine, Gaza, what that means for them. I wonder why climate change wasn't talked about at all. Like, I didn't hear about it for the last year. Do people just not care at all anymore? You know what? I said maybe I'm being ape-brained. Maybe I'm not being ape-brained enough. Maybe it's just as simple as... Americans are just really stupid. Like, maybe it's just that. Also, like, liberal people have a tendency to want to both sides everything, right? Maybe that's enough of that, you know? Maybe we need, maybe Destiny was right. You need to be on the attack way more. And maybe he should have done it earlier, too. Like, just go unhinged. Start calling people retards. Start making fun of people that died who are, who are conservatives. All that good stuff. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, lick your wounds and just keep trucking on, I guess. <laughs> All right, see ya.